and Lake Michigan plays a huge role in our weather and changes how we meteorologists forecast. But what happens when the lake itself trends warmer and what influence does that have in our forecasting? I looked into it. It's been an active start to our severe weather season and there are key components that determine a thunderstorm strength. In terms of thunderstorm forecasting in general, there's four different things that we look at. Uh, moisture, instability, lift, and shear. And so all of those ingredients are things that Lake Michigan is going to impact. But what role does Lake Michigan play in whether or not a thunderstorm weakens or strengthens? As, as air is passing over that cooler lake, the air itself cools. And that causes that air to become more stable or less unstable which in most cases would weaken a thunderstorm, but research studies show that's not the case year round. And this is work on Lake Erie, but still applies here, um, that, that shows that when you're crossing the lake, the storms will survive if the lake is very cold. Uh, the storms actually do something called become elevated, and so it's essentially not affected by the lake. If the lake is kind of warm, the storms are able to try to ingest some of that air and it being slightly cooler actually can help to make those storms fall apart. And then if the lake is really warm, then that allows those storms to pass over the lake and, and persist. This past year, we saw the lowest ice coverage on record, leading to warmer than normal water temperatures already. And with a warmer than normal projected summer, chances are Lake Michigan will only get hotter. The lake is one of many different things that affects thunderstorms. And so if everything that's going on on the larger scale weather-wise favors storms, then when we have those storms, the lake will be one additional layer of impact. And therefore, act as less of a buffer to approaching storms. And then what happens once that storm interacts with land again? So we're going to be down in the Saugatuck, Holland area and we're going to be looking at how air that was over the lake to see how the lake itself influences locations where storms do develop, if they develop, and what the characteristics of those storms are. And Central Michigan students, as well as other universities, will be conducting a study during the month of July. And we plan to follow along with their journey and see what they discover about those air masses and thunderstorms as they do travel further inland this summer. Wow, really interesting information, Sam. And we've already seen some pretty yes. active storms this season. Are we already seeing the effects of this warmer Lake Michigan? You know, maybe on a very, very mild scale. What we really need to pay attention to are those months of August, months of September. Mm -hmm when our water temperatures are much warmer, do we still see Lake Michigan acting as a buffer or are those storms that are really strong in Wisconsin going to stay really strong wow. and then interact with our land and get even stronger? That's something that we're really going to monitor closely this summer. All right, really